This fort may look like it's slowly eroding through the years, but what it stands for tells us a story. A story of an empire during its height, and the man who built it gained a reputation of a fierce leader. His name was Hari Singh Nalwa, the commander-in-chief of Sikh Empire's Northwestern Khalsa Army. He will meet his end at this fort, but it also represents the last Northwestern push the Sikh Empire would make before its downfall. Hari Singh Nalwa was born in Gujranwala in 1791 and joined the Order of Khalsa when he was only 10. He gained a ferocious reputation while just a boy, impressing his peers after he killed a tiger with his bare hands in a hunting expedition. That's when he received the nickname, the one with tiger-like claws. When he was 14, he entered the court of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, the ruler of the Sikh Empire. Eventually rising to the position of izazi e sardari or Honorable Commander-in-Chief. In this position, he would preside over 20 major battles for the Sikh Empire. But over his years of service, Hari Singh showed that he wasn't just a warrior. During his time, he was a governor of three different regions, developing military, religious, and infrastructure centers in each region. And after the conquest of Hazara, Hari Singh built the city of Haripur in 1822. It was centered around Harkishan Gar Fort and hosted luxury goods the area had never seen before. More than 70 years later, Punjabi poet Puran Singh would describe his childhood in Haripur. After that, he became the Viceroy of the Western Frontier and he was frequently sent to the most troubled spots in the empire. His orders were to create a tradition of vigorous and efficient administration. But at heart, he was a fighter. With his army, he pushed further west, crossing the Sindhu River, or better known as the Indus River, expanding the Sikh Empire's border into the Afghan territory. Though the Afghans had a reputation of being invincible warriors, in late 1836, Hari Singh captured the town of Jamrad and prepared his defenses. Those Muhammad Khan's Afghan forces confronted Hari Singh, and on April 30th, 1837, after a very long and intense battle, Hari Singh died in the ensuing fight. A late 19th century account by Mr. Hari Chand Urf Kadriyar in Si Harfi Tiji tells of the commander's last moments. He was cremated in the Jamrad fort, having kept the Afghans from sieging the town. An anonymous kibbit eulogized Hari Singh Nalua, which has passed down through generations and generations of Tardis. Hari Singh became a household name among Sikhs as a respected general. Though long after his passing, Faktun mothers would warn their crying children, keep silent or Hari Singh will come. When the British invaded, the Khalsa would resist the annexation of its territories. Pieces of the empire are found in snapshots today like this coin or a warrior's shield. They tell stories and legacy left behind by the likes of Hari Singh Nalua and the monuments of the empire he belonged to. <laughs>